What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're taking a look at Far Cry 6 here on Steam. So I played this game at launch over on Ubisoft and their launcher, and they've been bringing their games over to Steam more and more. So I thought we'd go ahead, take a look at what performance we have here on Steam for Far Cry 6. As far as launching the game, I didn't run into any problems. It launched the game just fine. I didn't force any compatibility. I just let things run default and it went right in, had logged into my Ubisoft Connect account, dealt with my cloud saves and all of that. So no issues, just launched in the game and having Ubisoft work for me there and getting right in. So let's go ahead and get into the game here. And speaking of saves, if you had a cloud save before over on Ubisoft, you'll be able to go in and download that. If it's missing, maybe go check, fire it up on your Ubisoft account and upload your save to cloud and then download it here. But if you have a save, a previous save, you should be good to go. Now jumping into graphics settings here for video, we're just going to have 60 FPS full screen, 800p with our 1610 aspect ratio. Quality's on medium for right now, though we are pretty much going to go ahead and go down to low, but I want to start things here. Motion blurs off, camera shakes minimal, um, and that type of thing. Advanced settings, V-Sync's off here, no frame rate lock for this test, and FSR is 1.0 and it's on quality. I really don't recommend FSR 1.0 though, but let's get in and take a look here starting with the benchmark so we've got medium with fsr at the top left we've got medium no fsr over on the top right and then we have low no fsr bottom left and then high no fsr for the fun of it bottom right so as you can see our frame rates there i know it can be tougher on a smaller screen with all four here but i did want to show all of them at the same time and frame rate for low is very comparable to medium with FSR. And for me, when it comes to image quality and just overall the game running a bit better, even at slightly lower S FPS from time to time, I think low with no FSR is gonna be the way I'd pretty much choose to play this game. And the benchmark also isn't the greatest indicator of real world performance when it comes to this game, but it did give me an idea here of what we're looking at as far as the different settings and performance. But jumping into the actual gameplay, going with low 800p, and no FSR, just maintaining the best image quality that we can. Your performance is just really going to vary anywhere, usually between 35 and 48 FPS, with the occasional dips below 35. And if you're inside an area or in a building or a cave or something, uh, you might get to 50 to 60 for just a limited amount of time. But this game is really going to be between the 30 and 45 range for the most part for you. And I didn't get into any 40 FPS. 45 FPS or 30 FPS caps in this particular video, but I think the performance here will still give you an idea of what kind of caps you could deal with. And I think you would want to go with 30 or 40 for the most part if you do want to cap things. You could go for 45 as well, but you might want to be running FSR if you're doing that, even though I don't really like the lack in image quality when you do that. Because um, you can see here when you get into the thick of things or when you're in battle, you've got more things going on in the open world. This is where I'm talking about you're going to dip down to that 35, 34 range. You know, even if you have things locked out to 40, 45, you're still going to just be hovering under that. Locking to 30 will definitely smooth things out. And most of the time, especially at low settings or medium with FSR quality, you're going to be able to maintain 30 FPS most of the time in the game if that's what you want to go for. But for me, as much as I've played this game, especially at higher frame rates, even at 35 to 38 for me just feels better than 30. I don't prefer the lock 30, but certainly if you want to smooth things out and you're used to that, it's going to work for you, especially here on the smaller screen. But you can see what kind of performance we're getting here just with these settings and kind of see what you need to be able to do with things. Now, I did take a look at some medium as well with no FSR and compared those directly to low. And you'll see, of course, a bit of a lower FPS there on medium. And there are certainly times that I take bigger dips by at least like 10 FPS and then it recovers. So it certainly does hit things a bit harder, which is kind of why I'm staying away from that here. Out in the open world, you might see areas where you even drop down to 30, 32 FPS here on low with no FSR. And that's just going to be typical for the way things go. Now, Ubisoft games are often just not optimized all that well, and they are very heavy on CPUs. It's just kind of typical for them. So I wasn't even really expecting this good of performance at the Steam Deck with the four core eight thread, considering Ubisoft's optimization. But I was surprised to see that the game is very playable and very enjoyable, actually, on the Steam Deck. Back here at our hub, things run pretty well, too. We get nice clean frame times and between 30 and 45 FPS without any major issues here. Same thing when we go ahead and jump into some driving around. I didn't do a lot here, but 
jumping into the car and taking a ride. Very similar on your FPS. Maybe the frame times won't be as good, but again, you're going to see a lot of that 30, 35 up to 45 to 48 FPS. Just seems to be the sweet spot here. Again, I think for me, low, no FSR, 800p. Lock it to 30 if you want, lock it to 40 if you want, and see what it does, and just kind of go from there. But anyways, guys, the game's running pretty good here on the Steam Deck. I think it's worth a grab. At the time I'm making this video, it's actually on sale for 15 bucks, and this game was pretty fun. I think a lot of parts of Far Cry 5 were probably a bit better, but this game is just a lot of crazy fun. You get to run around here on the island and do some wacky stuff. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.